Good morning, friends. Welcome to We Are The Church, a ministry of daily encouragement from the First United Methodist Church in Orange, California. Friends, Psalm 27 begins with the triumphant words, the Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? The Lord is my light and salvation. Whom shall I fear? And after going through a, a number of statements in this Psalm about confidence in the Lord and about being lifted up above one's enemies, the, uh, the, the final two verses, verses 13 and 14 say this, I believe that I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord, be strong, and let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. Now I will confess waiting for the Lord is difficult at times. I am impatient to see results. In fact, many people are, are, are this way. We want to have our results now and we live in a kind of an instant world where you can get just about anything you want and you have it shipped overnight, whenever you want. But what I want to say to you this morning is that the Lord is indeed the stronghold of our life. God has us in the hollow of his hands. And sometimes we remind ourselves uh, of the goodness of the Lord as good things are happening to us. And we say, oh, thanks be to God. This is an amazing day. I, I love the Lord and he is the stronghold of my life. Sometimes we say these words when the chips are down and we're trying to convince ourselves all the more and either one is okay. Once in a while where faith is concerned, it's okay to fake it until you make it. And John Wesley used to encourage his preachers to preach the gospel until you have faith. And after you have faith, preach the gospel all the more. To live in a consistent relationship with God is the way forward for all of us who are people of faith. We want to um, affirm the goodness of God in all circumstances, that God is the stronghold of my life and we have no need to be afraid of anything. And I want to affirm one more time what the psalmist says, I believe that I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Even when bad things are happening to us, we realize that we see the body of Christ coming around and people coming to one another's aid and assistance. And even in the midst of tragedy, good things are still happening. We don't need to wait till some far off promise of heaven and eternal life to begin now seeing the goodness of the Lord right here in the land of the living. So whatever is your circumstance this morning, I wanna simply affirm with the psalmist those uh, powerful words, take heart, be of good courage, be strong in the Lord, and believe we will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. And that's enough hope to get us through just one more day. Let's pray. We do thank you, O oh God, that by some mystery we don't even understand, when we take a pause and wait for a moment and we grow quiet in your presence, we feel your spirit coming to our aid. It amazes us how many times, O oh Lord, you show up with just the thing we need at just the time we need it. And we do see through the body of Christ, your goodness being expressed person to person, worldwide, every day. And so we thank you that we can live in these realities. We praise you for yet another beautiful day. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, friends, have a wonderful Saturday. We, uh, we have a big weekend planned in the church that I am serving a little later on today. We're going to be saying uh, a final goodbye to one of our dear sisters, Sandy Wilson. And I want to ask you today to keep the Wilson family in your prayers as you're going about your business. Um, she was a, a pillar in our community and a, and a much beloved member to all of us. And uh, she lived a glorious life in Christ. She was full of faith right up to the end. And God is filling her even now with his grace. And so um, this is one of those kind of weekends where there's a lot crashing into itself, but we do know that we will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. So 
get out and be about it. Remember to do no harm. Remember to do all the good you can and stay in love with God. And until next time, I'm Pastor Bill Johnson saying, we are the church, be of good cheer.